Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase the little custom component I created in JavaFX, which is a custom button type inspired by a comment I got a few weeks ago. And it works in a way that we now have a custom mode button, is what I call it, which allow us to have a button with text, two types of text, and a mode. And let's actually just showcase how it works. So I have a completely new JavaFX project. I just added my mode button class. Inside, as we just saw, my hello view. I will then simply add, yeah, tested it beforehand, but I will then simply add a new mode button. And when I then rerun my program, we should be able to see I have this mode button now. So we have the normal hello button from JavaX in this basic setup. And I then also have my mode button showing the mode of inactive or active. So it's implemented based on a button, so it's all the same functionality, but it allows us to now have two kind of text inputs showing two types or two modes, more or less, two states. And it is set up in a way that when we have this component inside our FXML, we can then give it some active text. So let's, for example, right now, the default is set to be active and inactive. But let's say if we wanted a button saying on, and then the inactive text saying off, for example. And let's make it a big, bigger, so it's not changing size based on the text. But we now have an on and off button, which didn't require too much setup. And if we then wanted to also change what happens based on the state on our button, I have added a setup we can then use inside our controller. But let's actually first give it an ID. So we would give it an FX ID and let's call it our mode button. Like that. And we are then told that this one does not exist in the controller, making sense. We then create it inside the controller. We add FXML annotation just to show this is an FXML component. And we would then implement initializable, allowing a method that's run whenever a window is done loading. We can then using our mode button, mode button dot set on activation. Because this is built on a button, if we override the on click functionality, we will then remove the text change functionality, which I'll show you shortly when we screw how it works. But we can then use and set on activation. We then need to pass it an house event, just an event. Like that. And inside this event, we can then do whatever we want when the button is clicked. And more interestingly, we can then access our mode button to get our state. Check what is the state. So we just print right now to console mode button is state, which will then print this next state or the clicked state. So right now it's off, we then click it, it's gonna be on, it's gonna be true. Click it, it's gonna be off, it's gonna be false. And this then would allow for some kind of functionality. But this was actually what it was inspired to do at first. To simply check if our mode button dot is state. So if it's true, we would connect to something else, indicating it is false. We would disconnect like that, and we can then test it once again. That now we have a setup where a button is showing its state based on its text, and when it's on, we connect, and when it's off, we disconnect. And just to showcase how it works, it's actually relatively simple. We have a mode button class, which extends the button functionality from JavaFX. We then have two string properties, containing our active text and our inactive text, and we have a Boolean property containing state. And noting we're using these properties, we could use strings and Booleans, but these is what's actually used in JavaFX for this setup, like this. So I think we should keep using that context. We then also have an action handler, which takes in the event that needs to be performed whenever the button is clicked. We then in our constructor, set up that our string binding. So whatever text is gonna be shown on the button is gonna be equal to if the state is true, or active text, otherwise, or inactive text. And we then bind our button text using a binding to our text property, so the text shown on the button. And because it's doing this way, the button will automatically update whenever the state changes because we're binding on the state. 
So we're not checking if the state changes or we're not having some kind of extra setup. We just simply know when the state changes, update the text based on this condition. In here, we then define that when the mouse, or when the button is clicked using a mouse clicked event, we would then simply swap the state. When the state is swapped, we change the text on the button. And we then also check if the action handler is set. So meaning if someone inside the controller added some more functionality happening whenever the button is clicked, we would then check if this is created, if this action handler is set, if it is set, so meaning it's not null, we then also call the action handler functionality. So we end up having like dual functionality, both changing the state, changing the text, and adding some kind of custom functionality anyone could add. And we then simply have a setter to set our action handler event. And note we need both getters and setters for our active text and inactive text for the FXML to work like this, where we can actually add our text directly in here. So very important, we need our getters and setters for our active text, our getters and setters for our inactive text, and we have a state to access our state at all time. And in theory, we could also add a getter to our state, which would then actually allow us to also predefine what is the beginning state in here inside our FXML. But that is the general functionality. So that is just a small little custom JavaFX button component I want to show you today. And of course, I will leave a link in the description to a guest where you can have a look at this mode button setup yourself. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this relatively quick showcase of this custom mode button in JavaFX, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful 